What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be a pretty interesting one because Nick Merckx has come out over on Twitter and released a statement regarding how the Call of Duty community is reacting to his skin and also Tim the Tatman skin being introduced into Modern Warfare 2. Again, you guys have already heard my personal take on this overall situation and it's not too much hate against these creators, obviously. You know, they got a massive opportunity, honestly, an opportunity of the lifetime. So uh, realistically, you can't be too angry about it, but the way that he is looking at this is just, again, it's one of the main reasons why Call of Duty continuously goes on a downward spiral and why the future of Call of Duty does not look bright whatsoever, in my personal opinion. But, of course, before we go ahead and hop into the topic of today's video, if you do enjoy what you hear today and you want to hear more content about Call of Duty, Battlefield, X Defiant, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button. We just got a brand new 100 plus new subscribers on the channel, so welcome to each and every one of you guys. Again, thank you for your support, and I'm glad you all are enjoying the content we post every day at around 8 a.m. Eastern Time, and I already listed all the games that we post up over on here. And also, don't forget, we do live stream over on Kick and Twitch, but today specifically, we will be on Twitch. More than likely, maybe dabbling in some Battlefront 2 and maybe some Battlefield 2042 prepping up for the brand new season that's going to be dropping on Wednesday. So, of course, if you guys want to check that out, I have links to all my socials down in the description of this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now if you don't go ahead and play Call of Duty, recently Nick Merckx and Tim Tatman just got a brand new skin incorporated into Modern Warfare 2. So, yes, you could play as one of your favorite content creators in a video game now. But along with that information came a lot of backlash from the overall community, not just with who was introduced first into the game, but the fact that they are prioritizing stuff like this over the actual game being improved. Now, Nick Merckx did come out and make a little bit of a statement regarding, you know, everything that everybody has said. And as you can see right here from Charlie Intel, Nick Merckx has responded to some of the backlash over him getting an operator in Call of Duty. If this thing came out two years ago, everybody would have been so happy about it. But now, given the facts and given the current landscape of the game, there is a lot of people that are very upset with Call of Duty. Tim and I are the first, and it's good for us, but it's also good for the creator community as well. This is the first step in a positive direction, and if people can't see it that way, then they are just hating. Now, overall, I don't know about you guys, you might share a completely different opinion, and that's completely okay. Obviously, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. This whole channel is based around opinions, so clearly nothing I say is factual, nothing I say is wrong. It's just, again, opinions. So deal with it, and we'll move on with our day. But the way that I see it, I, I just don't agree with this whatsoever, and I'll go over bit by bit and give my feedback on the overall situation here. Uh, with him going ahead and saying that if this came out two years ago, I, once again, I find that to be complete BS. People will not be happy if this happened two years ago because two years ago, Call of Duty was still on the downward spiral that it is on right now. See, the problem with these top tier content creators is that all they care about is BR. They don't care about the core base game. They could give two craps about 6v6 and Call of Duty. So, yeah, the community will not be happy. Your skin being introduced into COD two years ago or Tim the Tatman, it doesn't matter who, what content creator being introduced into the game, having it happen two years ago would be no different than it happening right now. I mean, maybe the Warzone community would have accepted it a little bit better because that was back when Warzone 1 was still a thing. But at the end of the day, the overall COD community would still be saying the same exact thing. This is a load of BS. Why are you focusing on putting more skins and more people, more creators into the game instead of focusing on the core game itself and making it better? And on top of that, why are they putting in creators who just simply don't care about COD? I've stated it before. I don't mind that Nick Merckx has a skin. You know, it's great that, you know, he got that opportunity. But I mean, out of all the people in the world to start off this opportunity, you would think they would choose someone who actually enjoys the game. I mean, Nick Merckx, he just simply doesn't care about it, right? Like, he already talked to Matt Smack about it. He already ditched Warzone to go play Apex Legends. He got a fat check to come back and watch CDL, and he also got a check to put a skin in the game. Uh, Activision's priorities are just all over the place, and I think that's the main problem here. It's not the fact that it was just bad timing. It's the fact that they're prioritizing creators, content, people, whatever you want to influence. I don't care what you call them. <laughs> Honestly, at the end of the day, it's all, it's all really weird to be called. But, you know, they prioritize people who aren't even in the scene over others. Like, you know, Scump, for example, someone who is so iconic in the Call of Duty scene, someone who might have been one of the best players ever known to mankind, the most iconic player, even people who don't care about the MLG scene or even don't even care that much about COD have probably heard Scump's name thrown around there every once in a while. He is very iconic, you know, but instead of bringing in a player like that, they bring in someone who pulls in more influence. That is the main problem here. And honestly, the last statement that Nick put out there is really like a slap in the face. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any way, shape or form, but really uh, to say that we're just hating if we don't agree with what's going on here just seems a little overboard. I'm going to reread it one last time saying 
Tim and I are the first, and it's good for us, but it's also good for the creator community as well. This is the first step in a positive direction, and if people can't see it that way, then they are just hating. But in reality, it's not, you know, a positive first step in the right direction. All this proves to me is that Activision doesn't care about their game. They don't care about the creators who play their game. They only care about how much influence you have over your community. They don't care about you. And the reason I know that is because, again, you know, talking all that smack about COD, you would think that they would look a different way and find someone else who would probably give a lot more of a positive, you know, influence on it. But they don't care. They're willing to push that aside. They're willing to, you know, sweep it under the rug just because you have a lot. And I mean a lot of clout. It's just, it's, it's, the, it's the hard truth. It really is the hard truth. At the end of the day, yeah, I guess it's good that they picked that because it proves that you don't have to love COD in order to, you know, get a skin like that, I guess. You know, you can speak your mind about it, but at the end of the day, they, they're not focusing on if you're speaking your mind in a positive way. They're not focused on if you're speaking your mind in a negative way. They could give two craps about who you are as an individual. They're only going to focus on people who are the top-tier influencers, which just sucks. Basically, he's only talking to, like, the top 1% of content creators out there. He's saying that this is good for the community, that this is a great first step, but you're telling me you really think that people with, like, 10,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, shoot, even 100,000 subscribers, you know, really, you know, semi-popular channels, you really think they're going to get skins in Call of Duty? No. They're going to hyper-focus on the people who pull in millions of views, people who pull in hundreds of thousands of people during live streams. That's who they're going to prioritize. That's who they're going to focus. They could play COD. They could hate COD. They could do any Anything else in the world, it doesn't matter. Those are the people that Activision wants. This is not a positive thing for the community, and this is not a great push in the right direction. It, it's 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 a step backwards, in my personal opinion. I mean, for the love of God, if we got good updates per every you know brand new bundle that got entered into the store, Modern Warfare Two might actually be a good game. But they prioritize bundles, they prioritize partnerships, they prioritize you know their name, their reputation, their numbers over actually making a good game and helping their core community. I, I don't know. Again, I think he's just personally talking about the top 1% of content creators, you know, because this is not good for all of us. If this was good for all of us, we would be having a good Call of Duty game right now, but we don't have a good Call of Duty game right now because they're too busy trying to put Tim, they're too, too busy trying to, you know, put Nick, they're too busy trying to put Durant, they're, they're putting every person known to mankind into this game, but they won't listen to the community. We're sitting here screaming that, you know, we need fixes for 6v6, yet all of our feedback is completely ignored for this. You know, like, it's just not good for the community. It's good for them. And again, I'm happy that they got a fat check out of it. And I was going to completely leave it alone. You know, we already spoke our two cents on the overall topic. And what it, what it is is what it is, right? We can't fight it. We can't do anything about it. it it's fine. But, you know, him responding in this way, I had to put another commentary out because, again, it, it feels like a slap in the face, especially as a hardcore Call of Duty fan to have someone that doesn't even play COD like that, let alone the 6v6 experience, they're all obsessed with Battle Royale, come out and say that, you know, we're just hating. You know, we, we don't know what's going on at all. We have no clue when it's as clear as day what's going on. You know, Activision is just prioritizing top tier content creators to get more people to come into the game instead of just making a good game. They said instead of actually updating it, instead of actually fixing things, we're just going to find people who have millions of people that can be influenced very easily by a few words. We're going to get them to talk good about the game just for a little bit, and then we'll get some numbers that way. And I guarantee Nick will probably go back to not enjoying the game, moving back over to something else like Apex Legends, and, you know, doing his thing once, the, you know, the contract is up and I don't blame him you know I'll probably do the same thing you know pay me a fat check huh? shoot I'll watch the CDL game and then I'm out I'm done but to say this is just not right it, it's just simply not right this is one of those situations where you probably should have just maybe stayed quiet and moved along with your business instead of you know having to come back at the community as always just like every I don't know what's up with these content creators these top tier content creators without they just can't stay quiet it's like man it, it almost seems like small content creators have more thick skin than, you know, people who have millions of followers, you know, and we get, we, we get hate still, we get death threats still, we get problems still, we get trolls still, but it's almost like, I don't know, it's, it's very strange, but that's off topic. At the end of the day, this whole situation is weird. I would love to hear your opinions about it. Let me know down in the comment section on what you think. Do you think, you know, Nick is being a little over the top with this statement, or do you think he's, you know, right on the dot? You guys think he's nailing it right now. Regardless, again, it's all opinion based. What I'm saying is not factual. And what I'm saying isn't true. It's just how I feel about it. And I would love to see how you all feel about this topic down below.
But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, for brand new to the content, with subscribe and the notification button. Also, want to chat me this to where you do so, I have a Twitter and Discord, both linked down in the description. And also, want to catch me live streams of video games over on Twitch, with this in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.